Twice a year, as part of the prosecutorial performance indicators, we bring together district and state attorneys, researchers, policymakers, and funders to talk about various challenges. We help prosecutors become data savvy so they can make more meaningful and impactful decisions. The real benefit of these meetings is prosecutors can learn from each other. It's a peer learning network. And the biggest thing is, you know, PPI tells you, it shows you, it gives you the steps and it, it, it basically holds your hand in doing this process. The dashboards play a tremendous role in the success of our office, both internally and externally. It's helped a lot of offices kind of put data where their, you know, only their perceptions previously were. You know, there are disparities out there. We want to make sure if there are some in our jurisdiction, one, we got to know about it, and two, uh, we got to figure out why it is, and three, we got to try to fix it. It identifies for you things you need to dig down on that you may not have thought about before. Community wants data. They want to know that we are being held accountable, just like we're held, holding those accountable in our community. We have an expectation to meet the community in their needs and they have told us that this is a demand that they want. It is a place to send people to when they have questions in a way that we never had before. It ensures the public's trust, but also it creates and develops that trust between stakeholders. Irrespective of my zip code, irrespective of my um, economic background or race. So the Prosecutorial Performance Indicators Project was one of the first research projects we launched as part of the Foundation's initiative, the Safety and Justice Challenge, which is aimed at changing the way Americans think about and use jails as a major driver of mass incarceration. If you'd like to learn more about the project, the Prosecutorial Performance Indicators, you can take a look at our website, which is www.thepppis.org.